an agrarian economy. You can go all the way through history to George Washington, who was communicated with written messages, he traveled at the speed of horseback, and he clothed himself with an agrarian economy. And here in just a short time, we now <laughs> communicate at the speed of light, we travel at the speed of sound, and we create the very atoms and molecules that we desire for synthetic fabrics. It's incredible to realize the speed at which technology has enriched our culture from a technological point of view. As we watch the explosion of technology and knowledge, as well as the transportation and communication revolution, we wonder, how could the prophet Daniel have predicted this 2,500 years ago? Technologically, we've come so far in, in our advances in what we're doing that it's impossible not to see us going even farther, even if, even if it does cause setbacks. And scientists even said, uh, I believe uh, in general human knowledge, we know maybe about 50 more times more than we did, like, uh, I believe it was a century ago, something like that. So, I mean... We're exploding. Well, with communication as it's developed, I mean, now we can know what's going on over across the world within two seconds. hundred years ago, you couldn't do that. You know, right now, our community is a global community. Communications, you know, you can call anywhere around the world. You can get on the computer, go anywhere around the world. That's very important. Technology is just increasing as a whole. As you see less and less cash carried around, more of the cards, the uh, checking, the internet buying, at least, and, uh, you know, cash will soon be obsolete in Revelation chapter 13 we read he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name we are told that the final method of exchange will not be with money, but will be done with an assigned mark that is put upon the right hand or the forehead of a person. Now with modern technology, not only do we see this as a potential, it is happening today. It's interesting that in our day and age, there is a technology emerging that Hitler or Stalin or any world dictator would dream of, and that is the electronic mechanisms by which one can control all commerce within a nation or perhaps even the whole world by cashless transactions with barcodes, with implantable chips and what have you. Just recently I took my cat to the vet uh, for a surgical operation and uh, the vet asked me if I would be interested in having him identified by having a silicon chip implanted in the tissue of his flesh. All of these things that are happening technologically fit into what the scriptures say will take place in the last days when no man, woman or child will be able to buy or sell unless they have a particular mark. Uh, is it possible that an identification chip implanted in the tissues of the flesh could be the means that will be used? People often wonder, are we really in the last days? I mean, what is this talk about the last days? There are a number of signs that the Bible gives that really identify our generation as the first one that you could say is in the last of the last days. This thing is about to wind up. One of them we find in Revelation 13, where the Bible says a man will arise who will control the world. Now, you've got to have a lot of technology to control the world, and part of what he controls is all banking and commerce. You couldn't have done this in the past. You couldn't have even imagined doing this in the past. And somebody's coming, and he's going to control the world, all banking and all commerce, and we have the technology to do it today, technology that was never even dreamed of in the past. Jesus, speaking of the last days, said, And this gospel will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. When we consider that 2,000 years ago, many nations, including the Americas, were not yet discovered, it is remarkable that Jesus made such a shocking declaration. Only since the 1980s has the fulfillment of this prophecy been possible. 
through the deployment of global communication satellites and other communication technology, the gospel is indeed being preached to every nation. It is interesting in the book of Revelation how John saw an angel flying through the midst of the heaven having the everlasting gospel. And he is proclaiming this gospel to all the world. Now it isn't too far-fetched uh, to look at the satellite network that we have established for worldwide communication and realize now that we can communicate worldwide through these satellites that are flying through the midst of heaven, whereby a man who controlled the world could guide and govern the activities of the world, as well as the gospel being preached to all nations and to all people through these satellite networks. It is interesting that the Bible tells us that there will be two witnesses that God will send and they will be slain in Jerusalem and the whole world will see their bodies lying in the streets of Jerusalem. This again would have been an impossibility if we had not had the worldwide communication systems through satellites where an event can happen in Jerusalem and we can be sitting in our living rooms and watching that event take place. And yet, the prophecy, as far-fetched as it seemed, is now a very practical reality. There are just so many prophecies about the last days that nobody could have dreamed of. And one of them, uh, in Revelation 13, uh, it says this false prophet will come along, the second man, the assistant to the Antichrist, who backs him and who does miracles and so forth. And one of the things that he does, he sets up an image to the beast. And he makes this image talk. <laughs> uh, again, a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, you, you couldn't have dreamed how that might happen, but today we have a whole science of robotics that is developing so rapidly. I mean, I've talked with some of these people and it's mind-boggling uh, what they're able to do. But to even dream this up 2,000 years ago? No, that's prophecy. We're seeing it fulfilled. This is God inspiring men to write these things. In Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, we read, he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. It is this generation that has witnessed the birth of human-like robots, bionics, and genetic engineering. Many religions already worship images, and Hollywood has paved the way for our acceptance of human-like machines. So we see that the technology exists today and that our society is being conditioned to worship human-like images. Jesus gave his disciples a confidential briefing on his second coming, which is recorded in Matthew 24. And in that briefing he pointed out that there would come great tribulations such as the world had not seen to that time nor ever would see again. In fact, he said, unless those days be shortened, there would no flesh be saved. It's interesting, the technology to make good that prediction didn't exist until our day. If you talked in these terms in the period of the Roman Empire, or if you talked in these terms, say, even in the time of the Civil War, the technology to wipe out the entire world just wasn't a realistic projection. And yet today, our technology has caught up to those prophecies. Every political leader on the planet Earth makes his decisions under the cloud of the possibility of triggering a global nuclear war that could indeed destroy all flesh on the planet Earth. This is Zechariah 14:12, written 2,500 years ago by the prophet Zechariah. Quote, Their flesh shall dissolve while they stand on their feet, their eyes shall dissolve in their sockets, and their tongues shall dissolve in their mouths, unquote. <laughs> what is he talking about? You couldn't have imagined it 2,500 years ago, 2,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, 100 years ago. This has got to 